the independence in the past. So that's why we honor him always. In many of the cities and towns of Colombia, we have a park called like that, we land monument like this. And it works as a point of reference also for visitors that come here for the first time, and also for the people that already live here. For example, let's say on Sunday or on the weekends, they're going to gather and not all, they don't know where, so this is the perfect place to do it. Because it's just in the heart of the town, and it connects all the streets, so it's very easy to get here. So that's why um, this is the purpose of the park. At the back we have, um, let's say, one of the most important churches we have here in the state. And as I was mentioning about the circulars, this is the only one in Colombia that has circulars inside and outside. So that's what makes it so special. Some people I have seen uh, this church and this whole scenario in Colombian productions like operas and movies, and that's very nice because it shows our culture and we are very, very, very proud of that. Okay? At the back we have, uh, yeah, the shirt I was talking about, and then if you guys want to visit, you can go, uh, you can enter, it doesn't matter your religion or the race or the color of your skin, you can go. But you have to do it way back to the way right You have to enter by the right door, start with the right door, and then you make a wish for them. Maybe in the future it can come true, and I can tell because my next final let me alone. So, <laughs> go for your wish, don't miss it. Guys, you can enter by the right door, turn around, and then you go out, make your wish, you take some photos, you are allowed to do it, so you're good, okay? At this part, and at this part, with these two streets we have, they are connected uh, in the middle by a corridor. And that corridor has some stairs that takes you to the Umbrella Street. Have you seen the Umbrella Street? Yeah. Yes? Photos, maybe Instagram, Facebook? Yeah. Okay. It's a whole street which is called, also called the um, Socalos Square or La Solita de los Ocalos in Spanish. But this is decorated with some umbrellas. So this is a perfect place to have a nice picture. If you come to Guadalupe, you don't have a, you don't have a picture there, you didn't come. <laughs> well, I want to be able to... Um Oh look, there are ponchos. I thought everybody would be out. You saw it, I thought everybody would be out. No, I didn't. Look, little ponchos. Should we go to this side? together.
crazy chili. I love how this thing moves with you. Like yeah. this transition is so smooth. Y'all gotta see my new purse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, burger beef. Burger beef. The restaurant over here. Pizza and pasta. Alright, we stop looking. We're down. We are. No, we know where we are. We're early. We're the only ones here. What time? Oh. Oh, they got like slushies right here. So, uh, do we just have to wait here? Oh, you want to do something? Mm-hmm. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> oh, you about to shake it off. <laughs> Come on, brother. Oh. You got it, brother? Yeah. Oh, my God, look at this house right here. Got food. Hold up, I gotta figure out this zoom thing. Wait a minute now. Hey, can you look at somewhere else? Sit right here. So we're back on the bus. We just had lunch. It's delicious. On our way to the boat ride. I think we're gonna see something that is related to Pablo Escobar, right? On our way to the tour. Oh, okay, okay. 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 Ok
Vera, watch it. I want to see the bottom. into you. I know you're not aware. Which was owned by Pablo Escobar. It is in ruins because it was bombed by the group of the Pepes in 1993. They bombed his house. The Pepes were the enemy group of Pablo Escobar, and their acronym means.